Today we're going to be doing an unboxing of the Milwaukee M18 Fuel Pole Saw 10 foot with a quick lock. So let's dive into it. First item we're unwrapping here is the strap and this is going to go around the pole saw so that you can actually carry this with a lot more ease and the weight of it's not going to have much of an impact on your arms and more on your shoulders making it easier. Some tools that are going to be for putting it together. Ooh, fancy. So this is the pull saw uh, attachment. And what's cool about this is it is a very lightweight 10 inch uh, chainsaw so that you can reach those high branches and make sure that you're cutting off everything that's needed. Uh, I will say that for this, it is going to be for smaller branches and there is only a 150 cut limit or that's what it says on the box. We will test how many cuts this actually can do in a later video. Um, but it feels nice, it looks good, and we will dive into this in a little bit. This is the actual piece that's going to attach to the head unit. All right. Wow. Did not realize. All right. So let's lay this out here, get everything out of the box, and explain what it is. So the parts that they give you in the bag are so you could have the handle attachment put on to the base here. And you can play around with where that's going to be so that you can make it you know, most comfortable to you. When setting up the actual handle grip here, uh, I noticed that the actual Torx key that it came with um, didn't really make it easy to do the job. So I would suggest trying to find that uh, 10 millimeter socket that you have lost last time and uh, pull that out with the actual Torx key. It's a Torx 30 and make your life a lot easier. So now this is assembled, we'll show you the actual main component, component and then the extender, uh, which is the two main pieces you're gonna need for any of these. This is a cordless electric device. You're gonna need a M18 battery. Um, unfortunately, I didn't realize the actual device does not come with a battery. So they do expect you to pay an extra about $200 for another battery. Um, and that battery is expected to run for about 150 cuts. We'll test that out to see if it actually holds up. So that's one positive and negative. Uh, the negative being that you're gonna have to buy at least one battery in order to use something like this. And the second being if you have a big job to tackle that you might need a secondary battery or a really long break in order to charge up the battery itself. So um, that's a positive and negative there. I think the positive of it being able to move around very easily uh, for a small backyard outweighs the negative there. So this is actually the extender. You don't need to use this, but if you do, the way that it works is there's a little black dot and it tells you where to insert and you insert in this top part. Just give it a quick push. You hear it in there, it's locked in. In order to release, you'd have to have here, tighten the actual connector so it's not wobbly. And now you have your main component. So. It does say that this is a double trigger device that's going to help you with, you know, making sure that it's not going on while you have your hands near something. Um, so you have to hold the device and turn this on in order to get going. Like all the other Milwaukee products, it has the fast and slow speed, the rabbit and the turtle, and you can speed it up or decrease the speed because this is very easy and quick to flip around. You can take one attachment off and apply the other with ease. So if you have a short bush that you need to cut down the, the heavier branches here, you can use this, this item where it's a shorter space or you can quickly add the extender in order to reach the much higher branches. So that's up there. A, a positive here is that you have an extreme reach with a 10 foot stretch here. Um, you're gonna be able to tackle most, most of your everyday needs for smaller limbs before you have to pull out that chainsaw of yours. So that's cool. Um, the negative here being that with your arms fully extended, this is, it's not terribly heavy. However, it is going to be, uh, 
a quick time before you need a break. You definitely want to make sure that you have your strap on because it's going to be able to make it so you can make use of the angular motion to actually decrease the amount of weight you're using with your arm. Uh, so this is definitely going to make it easier for you to uh, make those cuts, especially with the extended extended piece of up to 10 feet. So, so I filled it up with the chainsaw oil. So that's just regular bar oil and it goes in the top there. And we're just going to make a quick cut just to show you how it works. And uh, then we'll, we'll go from there. Whenever using uh, the chainsaw, you want to make sure you have glasses. And if you can, because you're going to be reaching up to higher, higher branches, you don't want anything to fall. Face mask also helps. You don't want anything coming back at you. Uh, this is actually a pretty quiet chainsaw. So the, the ear muffs are definitely overkill, but this is the only one I have. Oh. That was easy. This one's dead. Ah, the brim of it isn't. Perfect. Watch out, dogs. Mag's back. So now I can just go with this. <laughs> yeah. All right, they say that the double trigger is there so that you're gonna actually not turn it off and end up cutting yourself or something like that. I think that actually does help. Um, I had a trouble to get it going without having proper hand grip on this, so that's good. Otherwise, you could accidentally hit this with the floor while you're working on the blade. Regardless, uh, for at least the electric tools, I like to take out the battery when I'm not using it so that I can make sure that it's not gonna go off. And I like my fingers where they are. So you can see that it took E with ease, branches that are about like an inch, two inches, no problem at all. Uh, for the larger branches that are about three inches, four, it still goes through it, no problem. It just takes a little more time. I believe that probably is going to have some kind of impact on the battery life. So we'll do a bunch of cuts and see if it actually can get to a high volume where you'd be using this excessively and having no problems over a chainsaw um, or, or a gas powered pull saw. So. Right now, uh, I'm pleased. Uh, I've, I've used these a bunch before and I actually do like them. Um, it's for more of a smaller job, but uh, it makes sure that you don't have to be on a ladder. You should not be on a ladder cutting chainsaws, but uh, you're cutting with a chainsaw, but make sure you don't have to do that and you can access whatever you need. And then the convenience of taking it apart and storage is definitely a plus. So with just that, I'm not going to put this in the dirt because that'd be ridiculous right now, but with just two button clicks and a spin, I now have a much smaller item to store. So if you don't have a big garage, this takes up very little space and that's definitely a huge positive as well. So overall cuts great. The uh, storage capacity of it, making sure that it fits in small spaces so you can get more tools. Uh, that's also a positive. Negative is going to be that it is going to be a little heavy if you're holding this out at 10 foot um, over a long period of time. Also, the battery, uh, having to have multiple batteries on, on hand just to make sure if it's a larger job that you're going to have as many batteries as you need or access to a power outlet to charge them. Um, with a quick charger, it, it essentially doesn't take much time, maybe a half hour, 45 minutes, and you have a full charge. So you could have that during your lunch break, charge up all your batteries. So overall, positive experience with this. 
and look forward to showing you the hedge trimmer attachment for the same device. Till next time.